a high sense uh, model number LCD two zero zero three EU. Um, all I get is a light flashing. It's plugged in at the moment, and if you look down here at this light, it's just flashing on and off. Um, what I'll do now is I'm going to take this back off and have a quick look for anything obvious. Uh, in other words, a visual inspection of the uh, power supply in particular. I've had a quick uh, visual inspection of the power supply and I could see no bulging caps or any sign of burning or anything that was quite obvious. So what I'm doing now is I've hooked up my meter to uh, the 12 volt supply to the main board. If you look at it here, let's go back a little bit. And as you see, I've got a, my lead connected there to the first pin on the left hand side, which is the 12 volt supply. And then my ground then is connected to the chassis here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug it in now and let's have a look at uh, what we get. You can see there our 12 volt supply is varying madly so uh, another little test I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up and see what happens uh, using a hairdryer and see will that uh, uh, get the power supply up and working because uh, the, temperatures, the temperatures are very cold and it could be capacitor problem so this will test it out I just I'll just uh, turn on this uh, hair dryer and uh, warm up the uh, power supply. Okay, that took very little heating and uh, we got a nice steady 12 volts there now. I'm going to just reposition this now, uh, take my meter off and uh, reposition this to see will it turn on. Because that is the sign that it's a capacitor problem. Uh, capacitor got low in value. I have the power supply out and uh, Dig in at the capacitors that I'm worried about. They're underneath this heat sink, and I'm going to have to remove this heat sink. And uh, there is a a transistor in as well that's um, soldered onto the PCB that's bolted onto this heat sink. And looking at it, I think all I have is two solder joints hold the heat sink on and then we got our three solder joints here for the uh, transistor um, I'm going to have to wait till my iron heats up it's near heating up now it's heated up there now I need um, more heat to remove the uh, solder on the heat sink than I do for the components Just going to turn down my heat now for the uh, to get the transistor out. Okay, the iron has cooled down a bit now. Uh, I'm going to start unsoldering this transistor. This one here is a leg that's bent up. I'm just gonna okay, let's see. Is it free? There's 
one of the legs of the transistor is still holding. And there we go. There's only one capacitor in here looking at it on the primary side of the power supply and I would suspect him so I'm going to take him out. I'm going to freshen the solder up a bit first. Take note of the orientation of the uh, or the polarity of the electrolyte uh, capacitor. Okay. And that's our capacitor there and it's uh, 22 uf uh, 50 volts this is my uh, old uh, capacitance meter long before ESR meters ever come out I have this a long time now and I'm going to put it on the uh, 200 uf uh, setting and uh, Let's have a look and see what happens. Black lead to the negative. Red lead to the positive. So it's reading about 19 uh, microfarads there. Now, but it has been heated up with the uh, hair dryer. And what I'll do now is I'll just freeze it. bit of freezer on it and it's reading about 15 uf I'm going to replace that capacitor and uh, let it cool down and uh, switch back on and see what happens I got a new uh, 22 UF capacitor fit rated at around 50 volts and this is reading about 26.7 uh, microfarad capacitor, uh, capacitance um, the other one was reading 15 UF so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder this in place uh, put the heat sink back on put the uh, power supply back in the TV and then let it cool down uh, give it an hour or so and then switch on the unit and see what happens I've cooled the uh, power supply down uh, I put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes uh, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug it in it's the first time I've plugged this in now since I've, I've uh, install the power supply back into the unit let's see what happens 12 volts and uh, let's have a look now remove the cables and let's have a look see what we have on the screen and as you can see um, we have a nice snowy raster um, I was worried about the fact that I uh, heated up the uh, power supply with my solder iron that it would have uh, had an effect on other components and give me a false uh, indication that I have fixed the unit so that's why I had to take the power supply out and cool it in the freezer for about 15 minutes and uh, see what it's like from start. Um, 
I will monitor this now over the next uh, day. I will switch it on the morning as well. Uh, it's not going straight back to the customer. I have the back on and I've let the unit cool down. And what I'm going to do now is plug it in and see what happens. Turn my light on, change colour. And we have a picture. Um, we start getting these uh, problems with capacitors like that this time of the year uh, when it starts getting uh, cold around October. Uh, in the mornings the, the people's rooms are very cold and they plug in their TVs and they don't uh, start up. Uh, as you've seen there at the beginning of, my, of this video, uh, by using the hairdryer it got the power supply up and working after say about 30 seconds of, uh, of heat. I hope that's of some help out there to some technician. Uh, thanks for watching.